Rampart! It's here, it's finally done, it's ready to go, it's been over a year or something like that, off and on, I kind of rushed through after, over the past few months and finally got it done here. So, um, it's in the description, download it, check it out, this is kind of Rampart 1.0, so, I don't know, I might have a little bit added the versions in the future or something, um, which I'll probably announce on my channel somewhere, um, or post on Twitter, so feel free to follow me there, but, uh, yeah, it's good to go now, you can check it out. This map is, it's meant for four to four player, four v four players. We played a three v three game once, that actually kind of went out pretty well, um, 4v4 played about the same as a 3v3. 5v5 you get like extra people that can do, I don't know, you can throw them at the other the other side a lot easier and attack like a lot more. So uh, 5v5 plays okay but it plays completely different from a 4v4, same with 6v6. So I recommend 4v4 is pretty good. Uh, 5v5 is a different kind of changes the gameplay a lot that I noticed. So uh, that's another way to play it. Um, so yeah, this map, I will go over it a little bit here. Um, I'll also post a game that we played earlier. It lasted an hour. I might try to play another game, hopefully, that we could dominate the other team. It doesn't take as long or something. But uh, maybe I'll post that one, a different one instead. But um, I should have that linked at some point around here. It's, uh, so this map is a dungeon-y type style map, so it's really heavy on the PvE, uh, along with the PvP. So it is a PvP map, but it is kind of heavy PvE. It's kind of like a mix between a Race for Wool map and like a true PvP map. And, uh, there's a crossover lane, so you can, you have to, uh, you know, cross over here and melee and attack over the other team on the other side. Um, there's also this thing you can get through here. You can't build or place any blocks in the center of this lane here, um, so you can't you can't do that. That's that's illegal. Uh, you also can't pass the bedrock barrier here. You can't go around it. Um, so you have to, you know, use your little stealthy knowledge of the map. Um, the map is built to be more of a stealth tunneling style game, you can rush over and charge constantly, which actually ends up being pretty useful to do and attack the keep here. But, um, yeah, have your, have your tunnel guys do, do their work, because they're very useful. It's very useful to kind of sneak over the best way you can. Um, so yeah, it gets heavy on the PvE, and same down here, this is this is heavy dungeon area. I should start the game so the mobs kind of pop up. I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, so there's three capture points. One is this one here. It's usually inhabited by a nice amount of spiders. They kind of fill this area from the spider spawner here. Um, and to check, like, I'm on blue team here. And if I want to check my own point... You could just stand on the point, and it'll show you the number. If you move away, it makes that go away. Um, if you're capturing the other team's point, so if I make my way over here, it tells me and everybody else on my team, basically, that I'm currently capturing the point. And, as you can see, it takes 40 seconds to capture the whole thing. Um, this is the cave point. It takes a bit of tunneling little sneakiness, people get through here, get through the sewers area down here, kind of make their way over to the, over here to the cave. So that's one capture point. The second capture point, there's no particular order, you can capture them in any order, is the catacombs down here. And this one's inhabited by creepers and the rest of the undead around here. These aren't total creepers, if I need one to pop up here. Uh, you can kind of take the high route. I'm gonna tunnel up above this way, which is tricky to do sometimes. These are flame bow skeletons. Or you can stay low to the ground. Those spawners won't trigger if you're down here. So you can make your way over here. Some people like to build little 
kind of protective tunnels. This is usually the way to do it. Chickens like to just charge my way through here, usually end up getting myself killed. And yeah, the ghost spawner here. And watch out for this. Make your just get rid of the spawner and you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um and filled with all sorts of crappy goodies. This stuff actually ends up looking pretty pretty nice as you're playing this map, because the supplies on this map is very limited. Now the third, that's the second capture point. The third point, you need all three points to win, is here. Ta-da! Right in the middle of the keep. And this one ends up kind of being the PvP point. The other two are more PvE. This, I've been calling this one the stealthy point. This one's the PvE point. This one's the PvE PvP point. Though if you get one of these or the other one, the end of what the other one also ends up being the PvP point. So you have to. That's the only one left. They need to to guard. So they send some guards down there. Um, there's an Enderman over there. Ender pearls are allowed. See so if you can grab one. If you manage to kill an Enderman, you can Ender pearl over there. We'll go for the cave usually when they grab an ender pearl. Um, let's see, so three points. We got nasty sewer now area down here. This is good for invaders to kind of sneak through. Um, catacombs. Now this bedrock area here, it's it's not it stops right here. So you can make your way down right here. Down either through this fountain or just tunnel down and to get over there. Or you can sneak your way over to the other team's base and go down the back way, which actually, if uh, depending on how many people are around over here, is a little bit easier. So this staircase has a, a hole through the bedrock wall, through the bedrock barrier here that goes up through up here to the keep. Hello. So, in the keep, there's very basic supplies. Very, very basic. Very useful stuff, though. The saplings you're gonna want. Plants on the front end of the lane, or whatever you wanna do. Very basic starter stuff. Um, yeah, over here there's also a little bit of wood under these bushes. Red. Hello. The rest of the woods at the other end of the lane, down there in the forest. Third floor of the keep. We got a bow, a nice healthy supply of arrows, a little bit of leather, and the enchanting table. Protect this thing. You only get one. And, well, the other team gets one too, but you only get one. Um, now it's a basic bow. The rest of the bows you're going to have to craft yourself. Um, more arrows can be gotten from either down here. There's a chest, little little chest hidden down under this gold area. Has some arrows, an iron pick, a bit of little nice chest some people go for. Or you can craft them from. Well, this stuff starts just looking better as you play, and you're running out of arrows. If you are, there's flint, feathers everywhere. And that's it for all of that. Now the main thing you want to go for at the beginning of the game is down here. At the end of the sewers. Did I go too far? Yep. Or no, I went too close. At the end of the sewers down here is the cave. Or the mine. I'm calling this the mine. This has this one block of iron right here. And you need that in order to mine all these gold blocks. So, there's lots of gold blocks down here. Lots and lots. So, don't lose this to the other team early on. And you use these for armor. Gold armor. It's all gold armor and leather armor down here. Not much else. So, very starved supplies map. You kind of fight each other. You fight each other with the bare necessities. Whatever you can get. And... That's about it. Um, so hope you enjoy. It's it's a it's a hard game. It's hard. It's it's a difficult game to play. So if you like that sort of thing, enjoy. There's 
PvP and PvE to mess with and all that. Little motion. Hello. Oh, I'm on the blue team. This one opens for me. Hello. You can get some mushroom soup from him. He's very, very useful. And it's really sad when he's, he gets killed, too. The other team always tries to kill him. So there is another way to gain supplies. And that's to capture points. You get a nice... It'll kind of tell you a little bit of what you get there. And it spawns up here in the keep. Uh, most of the basic stuff spawns here on the second floor. Got pick. Got shears. This is uh, self-touch shears. These are good for gathering up some cobwebs you can use for defense. Uh, and some, you know, other supplies. If you don't know, you can craft fire in a chain mail. Um, and some other nifty stuff. Chain more enchanting stuff, bookshelves, a little bit of lapis, a little bit of more lapis, a lot of bit of more lapis. Uh, level gem. So this is a little trinket. Generates one level per minute. And yeah, you get a little bit of stuff per point. It varies a little bit um, depending on the point. So, um, you know, it might be useful to aim for one point just because of certain supplies you get. Other supplies you get, like the level gem here, get you get always get on the first capture you get. So, I think it says down here, gain the second one, the first one, gain enchanted supplies, gain iron pick, iron anvil, silk touch shears, and a level gem. That's all the stuff you get for the first capture point you nab. So, you'll always get that stuff. So. Uh, I should go over a quick couple special rolls. These, these epic golden apples here, those aren't allowed. It, it just clears them. The other ones are fine. These are good. You can eat these all you want. Um, so, it'll show that here. Invisibility is allowed. But it gets cleared if you get anywhere near the other team's point. So, you can use it to get close. But it'll clear you within 10 blocks of an enemy capture point. So... Visibility is uh, tricky to deal with, especially if it, it clears you right in the middle of a few mobs and you're naked because you're invisible. Yeah, have fun. And the other thing, beds are not allowed. Not allowed at all. So don't, don't even try to craft them. It's bad. It's bad. They kill you. It's good. Okay. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the map. Uh, I'm sorry. I wish Rixiot was here to do this video for you. I'm not very good at trailers, so I'm not going to make one. I could do wub wub whoosh zoom type video, but I don't know. Well, alright. See ya.